Welcome to another episode of Carpet Cleaning Guys Vlogs. I'm your host, Polly C. And in today's episode, we'll be cleaning this two-bedroom condo. Lock ourselves in. Stay with me for the 10 minute duration. I appreciate you clicking on the video. Be sure you're subscribed and give me a thumbs up. Always enjoy reading the comments below. Got two closets, this one there, and then we got this one. And I'll show you if you're a carpet cleaner, always take the time to check these power boxes. Not for the power, but one time I found an envelope in there stuffed full of $100 bills. And yes, I am an honest individual. I did return it to the property manager who informed me that he was able to return it to the previous tenant who was elated, <laughs> I'm sure. Beautiful day out there. All right. Good karma always comes back to you. I do tons and tons of these condos in both the buildings. This is Green Dragon. I want to show you, I talked about how the Green Dragon dissolves in cold water, as well as the Kaput, which is the CLO2. I've got a little one gallon bucket. We'll dump a two ounce scoop in there. And we'll let that water run for a minute. I have a little spoon, stirring spoon that I, I'm not sure where I got that. I think I picked that up at the dollar store so I have something to stir. Uh, other than the wooden paint sticks, they were breaking on me. This one's a heavy duty plastic. Alrighty then. Check and see what level we're at there. That looks good. And you could see, I turned the water on. There was no water in the sink below or residue. You could see it was cold water. I recommend you try this out. I'll be cleaning with the swirly today. If you look here, there's no hole for this level. I think I'm gonna drill a hole. And the reason I wanna do it is because sometimes I'll put a washcloth over the top down there and I'll put my bucket here and then strap it onto the machine where I can put my chemicals, my pads, my cloth that I use down there to wipe up the transition. But with the tank in the way, that's impossible. So let me know if you're a carpet cleaner, what do you think, a good idea maybe? Would you drill a hole? It's not gonna hurt anything. All right, this is a brand new Iron Man pad, 17 inch, oh yeah. All cotton. I should have pre-washed it. I wasn't thinking, but we'll give it a whirl. And you can see the gravity-fed shower feed, the hose goes down from the tank and it distributes water into this region. And it gets swirled around, drops through those holes. The center stays dry. So that's what shower feeding means. And this is a Malish pad driver. You can see it's got the hard bristles. You do not use this on carpet. It's not a brush. It's simply to hold the pad in place. And it does have a one and a half inch riser, I believe, what my hand's holding there. So it lifts the machine up off the ground so the wheels don't rub. All righty then. I'll spare you the cleaning. Once I get everything set up, I didn't bring my tripod or my uh, holder. So I will get set up and then I'll show you, although it looks very clean, sometimes the pad can be pretty revealing. Just need to fill the machine up with the solution. We'll go have a look at that solution. And I'll show you there's no residue. With one hand, this is a really risky situation with this cheaper painter's bucket. <laughs> if this handle, you can see if that handle pops off, I'm going to be out getting my mop and spending some time cleaning. Okay, bear with me. See if I can do this with one hand, a little hip tilt there. Oh yeah, in it goes. Once it gets 
completely down to the bottom. I'll try and show you. Maybe I can move the camera around. You could see there's absolutely no residue from the Green Dragon powder. And that's important. I don't know if you could see there. There's a few bubbles in there, probably harder to see, but I'll show you. Dump it in. You could see no residue. If there was residue, it would be crawling down the side of the bucket. Get a look down in there. 100% dissolved in cold water. Absolutely awesome. Since I realized this, I have not wasted any time waiting for hot water. I'll add a little water to it, mix it up, and then dump it in the corner of the sink. The sink is stainless steel, so if I dump it over here in the corner and there was any residue, it would leave the granulates down there. Zero. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That saves you time. You know, a lot of guys don't use the powdered products. That is a Citrus Dragon bottle. It's an old bottle that I transferred the Green Dragon from a 30-pound pail into that. The maid service has already pre-vacuumed these rooms when they did the cleaning and the maintenance crew did all the painting. So the last step is the carpet cleaning. All right. Like I said, I'll spare you watching me since I can't do it with one hand. And we'll take a look at the results in just a moment. Voila. Looking good. You can use a groomer, a flat brush groomer, if you want to groom this. It will put a few triangles in there, but I don't see a need for it. Let's look at the side that did the cleaning. Woo! <laughs> Obviously brand new pad. This is the first run on it, but you can see when people ask Where does the dirt go? You can refer them to this video and I will tell them it is transferred into the pad We only used maybe a, yeah, a quarter of a gallon in there Now we'll use side B Look at that remember the Gravity-fed solution goes around the perimeter, does the cleaning. I did not previously wet the pad ahead of time. I just did it dry, pulled the trigger to get some solution on it right away. Look at that, looking good. This is the second room. And then the first room I did is down here, just on the opposite side of the living area. A lot of dark shadows, the sun's on the other side. There you go. Looking good. Alrighty. Gather up my equipment and my chemicals and we'll head over and do another unit. I think there is three on the top floor and three on the bottom floor today. They only take eh, maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes a unit. You can see there's still a little solution left in there. Probably used three quarters of a gallon, if that. <clears throat> I generally leave it in the tank and just go to the next job. Let's flip it over and see what side B looks like. So very revealing. In fact, the manager popped in while I was videoing right before I started, I just edited it out and he was showing the unit and even the tenant was like, oh, you're cleaning them? Wow, they look great. I said, well, I haven't started yet. So although they did look clean, you can clearly see, I may send the video over to the manager and say, hey, check it out. <laughs> they looked clean, but that's deceiving. It's a good thing that these apartments always get them done. That was the valve, I shut it off. I usually shut it off right at the entry when I'm done and then swirl over it so that there's no solution in the line. So that way it doesn't drip all over the floor. I'll take my 
washcloth down there on my hand towel dry up any moisture on this particular unit and others that i do in here i like to really wipe over the transition bar there it tends to get dirty and obviously when the maids vacuum they're not wiping that down sometimes if they mop the floors it'll splash up on that transition all right wipe that up looking good i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you spent the whole 10 minutes with your boy <laughs> if you did give me a thumbs up let me know what you think of the video in the comment and i'll see you in the next one